This is Twit. Here, here we go. Here's the. This was the classic roundtable format where you'd have these guys in. This is VP Marketing for Telos Software. Well, this is way back. Yeah, this is still season Joanna one. Joanna was an early marketing manager at Apple. This wow. is still season one or two, I can tell from the set. We have processors yeah. like the Motorola 68000, Intel 286, a half a mega memory is sort of standard, and we have high resolution, high resolution graphics like the Macintosh. And it leads us to a whole new level of software where uh, graphics is a very, very important part of the, part of the application. Joanna, what, what did, what kind so of So we all had ties and jackets when we started. Started this yeah. before we got into the you know the more geek look. Yeah, relax. We changed the set a couple of times, made yeah. it look more like a computer lab. I liked it was always. Of course, this is fake, but it was lo looked like you were looking out over the Golden Gate Bridge that's in the San fake. Francisco. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we but were in a TV studio. You were in a TV, but I like it. It felt like you know here we yeah, are somewhere yeah, in the yeah. it certainly you know what it did it. It placed it uh, in Silicon Valley, right, and right, I think exactly. that was pretty important actually. Well, that's right. I was. I mean, that was one of our selling points. We were right in the valley. You're there. You access to all these people. Yeah. I have to find, and I will find the uh, John C. Dvorak. Uh, oh, that's a classic clip. One. I don't know if I can find it on. Look, uh, uh, look for IBM PS2. I think that was the. That's what that, he was showing off the PS2. Wasn't yeah, it he? was great. So, yeah, he said, "This great thing about this machine is it's modular. <laughs> you can take it apart and put it back together." I said, "John, do it." So he took it apart, but he couldn't get it back together. <laughs> <laughs> it was like when you're fixing your car. You know? Yeah, yeah, and he had the biggest uh, uh, aviator glasses yes, I remember yes, as well. Yes. We had another great one. We had here he is. Here's John C. Dvorak. Boy, he does not look like the same guy. <laughs> but I think when we start talking about machines two or three years from now, when we want to go to real fast CPU speeds and 386s, it might be nice this to is use actually this a bus show. because it's yeah. a real. This is not the one he took it apart. Well, the software runs on both the clones and this machine, and IBM is going to bring. Some proprietary software that probably won't be too exciting if they go. Well, up by were there surprises as you're as so you're going along? I mean, you're seeing the, the world of, change. Of, over I was gonna, he reminds me of a show we did with Peter Norton. So when Norton came out with with the, the disc, whatever, the, the recover your hard drive. His stuff. first thing was an unerase. Uh, program. Yeah, yeah, it was unerase. Yeah, right. yeah. Anyhow, so we had this computer was all screwed up, and <laughs> Peter Norton comes in. I'm going to fix it for you. Oh, that's brave. On it's live still. This yes? is like, well, well, live on tape. Live on anyhow. tape. Yeah. And so he, you know, puts his software in there, and he's plugging away, plugging away, and the sweat is pouring because he's totally screwed up this computer. He cannot get into it. He cannot get out of it. We're spending a fortune of money minute by minute oh in the TV studio, God. and he cannot get this thing to work oh again. Oh, Lord. So that was Did he John have the Dvorak. wide tie even yeah, then? Yeah, that was a John Dvorak moment. <laughs> I'll tell you another, another funny moment. Uh, we, we introduced the very first color laser printer from Xerox on the show. Wow. So I don't know when that was, when, 80 sometime. Yeah. Well, I was looking forward to this, this printer. The thing was the size of a Volkswagen. <laughs> it came in on two crates, four engineers <laughs> to hook it up, plug it in, test it, get ready to go. And we said, well, let's, we better do a test before we actually do it on the show. And so they turn it on, they press print, steam and fire and flames <laughs> start coming out of the printer. It was the funniest thing. They eventually got it to work, and the output was incredible. <laughs>